Hello everybody and welcome to my cooking channel. What you making Dave? Today we're making cookies. Lovely chocolate chip cookies and I'm going to hop right into it and describe everything as we go along. There's a great recipe that I learned online um, and it's from a, a website called allrecipes.com. Link will be in the description. Here we go. So we have three cups of flour. We're going to put in two eggs. Bunch of sugar. They say, oh, you should mix that, do stuff separate, but that's okay. I just have a little bit more butter, and it turns out very nicely. Everything's better with a little bit of butter. Everything's better with a little bit of butter. So I've added one cup of brown sugar, one cup of white sugar, and uh, basically what I do is I only add three quarters of a cup because my girlfriend's diabetic, and it's just a little bit better. So we have a little bit of cocoa powder, a little bit of baking powder, a little bit of vanilla, and one of my secret arsenals is a little bit of molasses, fancy molasses. It helps to cut the flavor of the flour. You want to make sure that it all comes out the same and, and even and not too uh, thin mixture. So basically a very important aspect is the consistency. We want to get it to a specific consistency so the cookies come out absolutely amazing. Now I'm going to make a little bit of a mess but that's okay. The production crew will clean it up afterwards. Right production crew? Is that you? Or? No that's you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry, I got a call. I got to go. So basically what we'll do is we'll mix this up until it reaches a really nice consistency. It doesn't take too long. You see how I'm just pressing the bottom side of the spoon down to the mixture. And uh, here's one thing that I wanted to talk about um, is the thickness of the cookie as you're making it as well as the ingredients. Uh, the easiest way to modify the recipe is to change the chocolate chips and there's uh, two cups of chocolate chips so you can basically add two cups of anything else that you want butterscotch chips you can add candy canes if it's Christmas time you can add uh, pretty much anything that you like into these cookies so as you can see it is starting to become almost exactly to where we want it and we could use a fancy mixer but what's the fun in that so with this recipe it's uh, really cool um, you can make uh, not only cookies but these little things in a mini muffin tray that turn out like two bite brownies but they're uh, very much like uh, a cookie so once you get it to a good pliable consistency where there is not too much powder right now and we're almost exactly where we want perfect now we can add the chocolate chips so we'll mix the chocolate chips in there and we will be ready to go in a couple of seconds so my ovens on 375 and we're going to bake the cookies and the two bite brownies. Okay, so here we're going to go through um, just a quick rundown on how I put the cookies together. I hand make them. I don't roll them out in a sheet and then use the cookie cutters. Uh, it's way easier just to grab a little bit in your hand. Form a little ball like this. And go like this in a circle, evenly around. And voila, you have your cookie. And you can make a ton of them really quick. Just like that. Round in a circle. And another cookie done. As you can see, I'm going around in a circle, up and down, so they're all around the same. And they come out in a beautiful circle. And another cookie ready.
they don't all have to be the same size what you want is the same thickness the thickness determines how long the cookies are going to be baking for so if you like them a little bit thicker you can just plop them down in a ball like that and they'll turn out a little bit higher but personally myself I like them a little bit thinner a little bit crispier on the outside with a nice soft center and we're just going to finish the last one here and I'm going to show you another cool trick with the mini muffin tins so we're just going to make a couple of balls to go on the trays fairly quickly just like that and we're going to put them in the muffin tray just like this so while I do that uh, I want to talk to you about uh, health and well-being eat healthy take your vitamins and don't forget to take a break like this for your mental health the smell and aroma of cookies baking in your house is sure to put a smile on everyone's face including the camera person yep there was a smile so what we're going to do is we're going to put these into the oven for about 15 minutes but uh, monitor it it could take you know 12 minutes 11 minutes 13 minutes 15 minutes 14 minutes it all depends on your oven and the thickness so now that they're all done that's what they look like we're gonna pop these into the oven and we'll be back in a couple of minutes to show you how they turn out nice and easy anyone can do it okay guys welcome back it's uh, the most favorite time of all of my cooking videos is when I show you the food. We're just about to pull the cookies out of the oven to show you what they turn out like. And our lovely two bites. Those may be more like three bites. Okay, yeah, maybe more three bites. Now they just came out of the oven and I don't want to break them, but... I am going to break them for everyone. So we'll just take one of these out. Oh my goodness. And just to show you how they come out inside nice. Oh, you can see that lovely chocolate. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna serve the camera person one. Um, and uh, yeah, don't forget, eat healthy, take your vitamins, and uh, bake cookies for your mental health, the aroma, going through your house will enlighten your soul and tantalize your taste buds and put a smile on everybody's face even if they don't like cookies uh, don't forget to subscribe make a comment like, like the video and now the camera person's most favorite part of the day and that's when Ooh, this is so hot. She gets a cookie. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to subscribe.